Hello, everybody, and good morning. It's John Hurst here, author of The Fall of President Twitter. Yes, my two-act political satire was published about three weeks ago, and I just wanted to give a quick shout-out and encouragement to all those who might be interested in buying a copy. It is available through my publisher's online bookstore, and that is www.dorancebookstore.com and Dorance is spelled D-O-R-R-A-N-C-E so that's www.dorancebookstore. There is also a e-Kindle Amazon version so for those who are on a tight budget which I certainly understand you can also purchase a copy of my political satire at a slightly cheaper price on Amazon. As I said, I would encourage everyone to buy it from my author's website if you can afford it. And I know times are very tight these days. I ask that because every penny of the purchases for this book are going to be used to mount a stage production of it or a film production of it, depending upon what economically makes the most sense. So, thank you for taking the time to listen to this announcement. I thought it would be nice for you guys to see the face of the author and hear him. The Fall of President Tweet is a political satire. It has four characters. A fictional character by the name of President Stephen Becker. A fictional vice president by the name of William Penny, a fictional first lady by the name of Mahela, Mahela Furland, and a fictional mystery character by the name of Marcus Frister. I hope you will take the time to buy this copy of my book. I'm actually going to read just the first monologue of the fictional character Stephen Becker, and a little description of the first act and first scene. And consider it a little bit of a teaser. I hope you'll buy the book, and my thanks for your time. So here we go. Act 1, Scene 1. It is the day after the general election in the United States of America. The year is 2028. Lights come up on the Oval Office. It is 11 o'clock in the morning. At the desk sits President Stephen Becker, an obese Caucasian 68-year-old. He gained financial success as a New Jersey hustler stroke cable show producer who specialized in shock radio and who bought a chain of stations that became increasingly lucrative. He is on the phone, dressed in a cheap blue suit, poorly tailored. On his desk is a baseball cap with the words, America's Savior, embossed on it. He's speaking on the phone. President Becker. Upset? No. I'm excited. I'm ecstatic to get the hell out of this dumpster fire. Eight years I put up with these cretins. It cost me a fortune to get reelected. Yeah, way more than it should have. If I'd known I was going to lose to a Latino, I would never have paid people to fix the Constitution so I could run for a third time. For, so I could run for a third time. Huh, no question. If Democrats had said those things, yeah have had his fucking head. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, his balls and anything else that made people think he was a man. I told my CIA people, the ones who understand loyalty, to arrange something. Hey, it's not my fault that not all of them get what it means to kiss the ring 24-7. You know who the real ingrates are? <laughs> that's right. All those Republicans without balls. Yeah. The one who allowed this Ortiz guy to get out of the primaries alive. No gratitude. 
I could not put it better myself. My legacy? It's as clear as fucking day and night. I got the party to stop obsessing about the truth. I gave voters a great show. That was funnier than any of those talk show hacks. Yeah, yeah. The First Lady is always telling me I'm twice as funny as any comedian out there and three times sexier. When I'm out of here, I'll come up to New Jersey. Yeah, we can hit all the old clubs. Can't wait. Kiss your wife for me. Hey, I gotta go. Uh, light loafers just walked in. That is the opening monologue of my fictional character, President Stephen Becker. Now, much is going to happen in the scenes to come, and I hope you'll take the time to check out what happens. Sufficient to say that events occur that prompt my fictional president to decide to stay in power for an attempted third term. Well, I'm not going to say anything more than that. If you want to find out what happens in my political satire, you'll have to buy a copy. I hope you will, and I hope you all have a great day. Take care and stay safe out there.